Hello, today we're looking at Debian 10.0 Buster, the stable release that was released on July the 7th, 2019. And for me, this is a very, very important release and it's so, so good. And I chose the GNOME desktop environment, which is the default desktop environment. So when you install it, you have an choice during the installation, one of the steps is to, in, to choose the different the desktop environment which you want to use. And KDE is there, XCE, Mate, Cinnamon, so there's many different choices, but if you just skip part and choose the default one, you get GNOME. So for this video I chose to use the GNOME edition for if when GNOME 10.1 will come out, I will use KDE or one of the different desktop environments to have a, something new to look at. So for this video, I'm gonna look at the uh, GNOME edition and there's a few very key things which I found out in this release. So if you go to this little tool to choose, you will see imme immediately we have Wayland by default, a Wayland session which blows my mind away. So that means that by default, like the same as Ubuntu 17.10, many of the Xorg apps will not work. So if you by, for some reason doesn't see that some of the Xorg apps doesn't want to work as you want, then you can always switch back to Xorg, but it's also good for me that they are stepping into the future of desktop of desktop Linux and yeah I hope that many of the apps will get onto this and adapt the uh, adapt the apps to variant also. We also got GNOME Classic and I just quickly want to look at it. We will go back to your normal GNOME the default session now because there's some key things to look at it also. So this is basically GNOME Classic as we all know it with in GNOME 3 which is quite an interesting combination and I actually kind of like it. All I want to look here is let's go to system monitor. It is kernel 4.19 just to let you know. So this GNOME Classic is using a thousand gigabytes of, a thousand megabytes of RAM when idling, which I would have hoped it's a bit less. I can understand that the other one is more, but yeah, that's just for you to know. And let's go back to the, but as you can see, everything is working, and that's what I love about Debian. And Debian, it is not the most flashiest destroy yeah, the but it's the big daddy of so many Linux based distros and like Ubuntu, Linux Mint, Deepen, Pop OS, Linux Lite, Peppermint OS, the list continues, Parky Linux of so many distros is based on De Deepen, Debian and that's why they they have to be so solid and this is a, such a solid release. There's been so much testing going on and it is absolutely a pleasure to look at it. So I want to quickly show you the version of GNOME and I want to talk a few seconds about it also. So as you can see it's Debian GNU slash Linux 10 Buster and it is GNOME 3.30.2. Files is also GNOME 3.30. So what does that mean? Not the latest, but not the oldest also, and no desktop icons by default. There is an extension you can add, but by default no desktop icons. So even if you go to the desktop folder, and we add a file, It will not appear here. So 
if you really need it, you will have to add an extension. So just keep that in mind. If it's great that they are using Wayland, it's great, great that they are using GNOME 3.30 and GNOME 3.32 Ubuntu made a fix for it, but they don't have the desktop icon, so just keep it in mind. And Wayland, so, but you can get it with the extensions which the Ubuntu team worked on. And there's other people, I know there's an extension out there to put desktop icons back on the screen. So just keep all of this in mind. I'm not discouraging you, I'm just giving you an honest review of a very stable desktop. So there's a nice few tweaks you can add and also it's a new Advaita theme and it also got a very good dark theme which we will just add here and you can also choose where you want your minimize, maximize and close button on the left or the right which is very useful and let's just put in the dark theme that you can see and we will stop with that we will, as you can see the dark theme it looks very good. We're just opening up apps and as you can see the dark theme looks very good all over. And let's just stop in settings quickly. And for the wallpapers, many of the wallpapers is still the same, but there is a few nice ones also chucked in the ear. So as you can see, some of them is very cool, some of them is still a little bit old, they've been on things, but here is a few really nice ones, I like this one so much. And let's just open up the system monitor, and we will end with this. So as you can see, it's 1.3 gigabytes of RAM, if you close up everything which we have open currently, Let's go shopping. We are eating about 1.1 gigabytes of RAM when idling, which for GNOME is not bad at all. And it's basically the same as GNOME Classic, so yeah, I think it's a great release. Absolutely worth checking out. And yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And see you later.